How we doing this morning, people? Just waiting for the trucks to get here. We're gaining daylight, so won't be long. I'll be getting up at one, two o'clock. As soon as we get down here and get over to the next job where the shovel log is at, I'll probably be getting up, leaving the house, you know, around midnight or so. There goes that damn suction cup again. Anyways, I'll be shovel logging. But, Jesus. Since it's raining, they got me shut off on that for a little bit, so. But, I need to say a special hello, and I'm really sorry to Gerald Coffee and Justin SRT8. While I was doing my hellos and welcomes, somehow I missed you guys. Uh, as a matter of fact, I went back into my subscribers to see where, you know, when you subscribed try to figure out uh, you know what video that would have been to see if I just missed you or what happened and I've been I'd some I got some weird stuff going on but it won't let me go back that far as it, it, it will only let me go back to Bobinski Brooks Brooks so uh, there's like seven six seven hundred uh, subscribers that I can't find on there and then uh, it's not the people that are subscribing it's not the new ones the last six or seven uh, it's not giving me their names and I'm not getting an alert on my my because I've got it set up where I get an alert on my phone I get an alert on my email I get an alert through YouTube you know because I don't want to miss anybody I want to say make sure I say hello and, and make sure that everybody knows that they're welcome you know and, and uh, so I, I don't know what the heck's going on. Boy, you dirty. That one seems to be working all right, but this one ain't. Anyway, so I wanted to make sure. <laughs> I hope that's not any indication of how the day's gonna go. Uh, I wanted to make sure and get them hellos out there. <coughs> like I say, I'm not sure how I God dang it, missed you guys for what happened there. But we're definitely saying hello now and we're glad to have you guys. Make sure that, uh, you know, don't be afraid to jump in the comments and say hello and, and, and all that because we're glad to have good people over here. <coughs> Jesus. And uh, like I say, I'm really, really sorry that I missed you when I was doing my, my hello shout out. Uh, now that we, uh, we know you're there, we'll make sure and say hello to you every once in a while. And also I got asked about the dangle head and, and what I've been kind of crying about. And uh, I'm gonna have to do something about it soon. I'm not gonna live or work miserable. Uh, and obviously he's not gonna change, so sometimes you gotta just make a jump. Anyways, what I'm saying about that is the way these things are designed, and along with the strokers, any one of these processors, you're not supposed to have to have the loader here all the time. The, the, whether you're ground skidding or yarding, when they move in and go to work, processors sitting there and they start processing logs. Da, 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 da. Shovel operator can either be out shovel logging or can still be on the last landing loading or getting low void over or whatever. He pulls up there, you know. Let's say let's say I'm I'm out shovel logging, so I go out shovel log all day long. La 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 la. Quitting time comes, I park my machine. Next morning I go to load trucks. I should be able to just walk right up here, throw my loading lights on, start picking logs up and putting them on a truck. I should not have to take, dig through them and go, no, that's this sort, that's this sort, that's a short log, you know, that's a different species. I should be able to just pick it up and put it right on a truck. So that's what I'm complaining about there. We don't get enough logs per se, you know, seven, 10 loads a day. 
that he's so swamped that he can't do that and we're not so swamped that he absolutely has to do that because I'm so far behind on on trucking and whatnot uh, you know I do have a lot of other things I have to do pile brush I you know I help the hook tender out with the guy lines and stuff if they need me out on the rig and so that's what I'm saying is while I'm trying to help other people he could help me or the processor could help me or while I'm piling brush so on and so forth like I say only getting you know seven to ten loads a day the saw logs is really not that big of a deal because we only have four swords on the saw logs uh, we have a, a total of seven so nine swords excuse me anyways it's the chip wood and the short logs and when I say anything is that for the mill that we work for you can't put any short logs on a long logger well they consider anything under 24 feet long a short log so your 16s and your 20s 16s 18s 20s and 24s go on a short logger your 24s 26s 27s go on a long logger so you see I got my 24s there I can go either way they'd rather have them on the long logger but if I need them to, to build a load anyways so as far as the long logs it really is not that big of a deal it's the chip wood and the 16 to 24 foot long if he could keep those separated and clean would be ideal just pick the chip wood right up I really shouldn't even have to to re stack it should be able to just stack it up and go oh there's a load better get a short logger as normally by the time you got a load of chip wood you've got a load of, of saw logs short saw logs and then that way you can get two three trips out of your short logger because there's no reason why you, you only have to load him once a day some guys get so freaked out they oh my god I got a load of short or chip what I got and then they you know they get him up here for one trip and cut him off I don't like to do that uh, I do have a, a pretty good relationship with the trucking outfit and they know that I don't like to do that so if if I call for a truck uh, a short logger he knows it's gonna be an all-day thing um, and he also knows that I don't call for the short logger when I only have one load so if the short logger goes somewhere else and gets cut off normally I'm the first person he'll call and say hey you got I got one cut off you got anything if I got something I'll pick him up and it works out pretty good that we're doing it that way for me so that's the idea behind if I don't get rid of this cold pretty soon it's gonna kill me uh, the dangle head now when you're shovel logging and you're getting 15 20 25 loads a day and you know you're shovel logging and loading 25 loads a day you don't have time for playing games this ain't you know high school students and principals this is logging now so uh, we get over on that shovel logging job I think junior might have a rude awakening but am I gonna make it that long I don't know I have an opportunity I have been talking to somebody else somebody that I've worked for before and I was very 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 extremely pleased working there and it was working that's where I was when I hurt my had my first knee surgery and I had a, a somewhat of a, of a reputation of jumping ship as soon as I got laid off somewhere you know if it was gonna be more than a couple of days I went to work somewhere else and uh, Anyway, so I've, I've worked for quite a few outfits around here, but it was well known that I had found a home and I was going to retire there. And then when I come back from my knee surgery, he'd shut down for a couple of years. So that's why. And it's not like I, I enjoy working here. My woods boss, Rich, and, the, and the, the boss, Todd, I have a lot of respect for those two men. And I like working with those two guys. But, and I'm not going to go into the whole situation, I've said it, you know, and, and I've even been asking the comments, hey buddy, what's up, you know, we can tell that something's going on by the look in your face and the way you're acting and whatnot. So it's obvious, pretty apparent that the last couple of weeks I am not happy, and like I say, I do not, <coughs> I want to enjoy my job, and I, 
that's a, a double edge blade there because I do enjoy my job, but because of this, I'm not enjoying it. So I hope that helps you guys understand a little more about the dangle head. My truck here. Nope. Uh, my lights will be here within a couple of days. We'll get those put on. We'll make sure and do the review over that. Got lots of story time. I've been getting a, a huge response over story time. And oh, 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 shoot. I've been getting a lot of, sorry, a lot of response over story time and the tripod. So I definitely am going to do both of those. This camera has the Bluetooth, so I, I've got the little Bluetooth thing for my phone. I just got to figure out what my range is. Uh, and then I'll start so then I can talk while it's outside the cab videoing. Um, and I thought about maybe doing story time then, but I think a lot for me when I'm telling a story, what really makes the story is the, you know, the gyrations and the facial expressions and all that. So we'll try a couple of those and see how they go. But I really think story time should be face to face. And uh, I've been asked a few times and I haven't been because I, I kind of put it on the back burner. I'm waiting as soon as the first day we get sunshine and no wind. I've got the drone and the pickup. I've got the battery charged up. The video is working really good. It does not have audio on it. Uh, I would like to get one with audio, but I have a lot of other things I need to do first, so that is on the bucket list. But as soon as we get some decent weather, I'd really like to get some today because they're going to be in a jack tree down there, and I think it'd be really cool to get that drone up and get some video of the carriage going over that jack tree with the drone. So we'll get back with you guys later. Stay safe. Get lost.